some more waffles today. So I should let you know, um, despite the fact that I started uh, recording myself cooking and putting it on the internet, I am not uh, a good cook. I weren't being filmed, I put those right into the blender, but... I'm not what anybody would like, like I don't do, I don't do fancy stuff. But I will say there is one ingredient that every time I work with it, it works. No matter how sloppy I am, chickpea flour. Um, it's really nutritious. It's super simple. The It is just ground up dried chickpeas. It was like $11 for four pounds. If you live near an Indian grocer or like a Bengali grocer, you can always find this on their shelves. I got this online. It's a sort of obscure online marketplace, Amazon. So today we're gonna make um, savory vegetable fritter waffles. Even I can't screw this up. What we need for this recipe is one medium zucchini. If you have additional vegetables lying around, onions really, really good, sweet potatoes good, carrot is good, pretty much anything that you can grate with a cheese grater is good. And then aside from that, all we need is one cup of chickpea flour, a little bit of olive oil, one third cup of water and salt. So we'll want to start by grating our vegetables. I'm sure that all of you have something that is way less scary and way less dangerous than this. <laughs> you guys may watch me hurt myself all of a sudden. Woof. Got our zucchini and our onion all grated and ready to go. Everything else from here is um, super simple. Yeah. I like to season it right away. Um, so you take some salt um, and put it into the zucchini. I feel like it maybe uh, starts to release liquid and from there Add your chickpea flour. It's one cup of chickpea flour Because there's a lot of moisture in zucchini it um, it already starts to like bind and turn into a batter pretty quickly. Look at that Look at that I just love chickpea flour so much. So this is already like a pretty excellent consistency um, I will probably add less than a third cup of water, um, but adjust it to what feels right. Again, make a batter that looks like a waffle batter. Um, so it should still be scoopable, um, but very uh, gloppy. Um, and then last little thing is just add a little bit of olive oil. That's good for you. All right. I'm gonna add a little extra olive oil right to the um, right to the waffle maker. Well, they're fritters, so you want them to be a little bit, you know, crispier on the edges. You can make you can make a full mini waffle, um, but I actually think that they're really good if you make them like extra mini. A couple globs of it. And just put a little dollop in the middle. One. 
Mmm. These are delicious.